Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on Rasa Chatbot. In today's session, I am going to explain you about a very good concept in Python programming which is specially used for the entity extraction. And that concept is known as regex. So what is that regex? So if you have already studied in Python programming that there is one expression or let's say there is one module which is inbuilt in Python that is named as RE which is known as regular expression which is specially used to extract the data from the string that you will have based on the pattern. So in the same way you are going to use that concept in Rasa chatbot. So let's understand how we are going to include that part with Rasa chatbot to further extract the entities based on the pattern and how to create those patterns as well. So let's not waste time and let's get started and let's see how to do that. So let's get started. All right. So this is a project which we have already used in a previous session as well. And there I have already shown you that how you can use the synonyms. So in the same way in this time we will be using like how to use the regex entity extractor. Previously we were using the synonyms to use the concept or let's say to use the values whatever we are providing and to finally give a single name to all the particular values for the entity part. This time this regex function is specially used to extract the data so for example i have a message i have a message as like my account number is one two three four five six seven eight nine like uh, like this right so in this way i have a complete string but from the complete string what i have to get i have to simply extract that part i have to simply extract that data which is the account number so to do that i'm going to include this part because as you can see over here what I have done I have simply added the entity part over here and as per that entity I have also provided the value that what is that value which my Rasa chatbot should be able to extract. So this is what I have already done and based on that I definitely don't want to include all my numbers or all my email IDs whatever I want to extract. So it's better instead of assigning or let's say instead of passing all the data into the NLU I will be simply creating a regex because I know that my mobile number has a simple pattern. What is that pattern? That pattern is that it will include all the digits and what will be the digit? Digit will be from zero to nine. So in this way, I will have that pattern for that. In the same way, if I'm talking about the email ID, in that case of email ID, what I know, I know that I will be having some data and that data will be in the form like initially I can have either the digits or I can have the characters. So based on that, it will be starting like this. And after that, in between, we can have some special characters as well. And those special characters are like underscore uh, dot or something. So in this way, we can have that. Similarly, after that, you will be having at the rate for sure. So this is what? This is just a pattern for your email ID. So in the same way, you have multiple type of data as well. So for that, we can simply use the regex function because we can simply create a pattern. And based on that, we can extract the values. Currently, in this case, in the today's session, what we are going to do is we are going to continue the conversation which we have already had in the last session for the synonym part. There, what I was doing is I was simply saying hi and the bot was replying, hey, how may I assist you? And I was simply saying, I want to check my account balance. Okay, so over here, what I have done is I have simply said like, I want to check my account balance. Now, if my, uh, let's say chatbot already know what is my account number. In that case, what my chatbot can do, my chatbot can simply collect that value and based on that, it will provide you the information, what you are looking for. Right. So this is what we can do. But suppose I'm a new user and I'm simply saying I want to check my credit card account balance. But I don't know. Let's say my chatbot does not know what is the account number. Right. So definitely what my chatbot will do. My chatbot will ask you what is your account number. First of all, tell me that. Right. So in that way. I have to provide that value. So I will be providing that value in different way. Like my account number is this, this is my account number and so on. So there are different ways to say the same thing. But the task which I have to do is I have to extract that information so that I can use that information further to provide you the information that you are looking for. So this is how I will be doing it. Now simply for that, I have to include one intent. I have to include one question that will be coming from your bot side right so for that let me do one thing let me first of all go to the bot or let's say let me first go to the domain over here uh, you can see yeah 
This is a question which I have included over here. Utter underscore ACC underscore number, which means I'm asking for the account number. So what's your account number? So this is a question that my bot will ask. Based on that, now I have to provide you the information and what is that information and that information is my account number and that account number will be in the string format. So for that, I have to include that part in the NLU. So let me do one thing. Let me add the data for that. So first of all, I already have the intent ready with me. So this is my intent in which I have my account number and examples I have already given. So it is like my account number is this and this is the entity. So with this format, with this passing the intent, what I'm doing is I'm providing the information or let's say I'm providing the numbers that I can include over here, right? So this is how I have done it. Similarly, for example, I add some data or let's say I added some value, which maybe my NLU data does not already know. So in that case, definitely I require some pattern so that I can identify that whether this is a mobile number, whether this is an account number or what. So this is what exactly our motive is. And that's the reason why we are going to use the regular expression or let's say the regex entity extractor, right? So this is what I have to do. And for that, first of all, I can include that part over here. I can include the data for the regex entity extractor over here. But before that into my configuration file, I have to include that entity extractor as well. If I will not include that part in that case, what will happen? You will not be able to extract the entities, right? Now go to the configuration and inside the configuration over here, you can see this is regex featureizer, which I'm already having over here, which is helping me for the intent classification. So this is what exactly I'm doing over here. Now I want it for the regex entity extractor. So this is what I already have. Now I have to introduce this over here, right? So name column regex entity extractor, which means I will be using the entity extraction through the regex in short the regular expression i will be using right so that's why i have introduced this part inside my configuration file now go back to the nlu now let's introduce the regex and for what i'm going to introduce regex right now right now i'm going to introduce regex for my entity and what is that entity account number so i'm going to introduce that for this purpose right so for that you have to add that data and the data i already have over here with me right over here i'm simply passing that i am going to introduce regex what is the regex used for regex is going to be used for this entity which is account number so this is the account number for this entity i'm going to apply this regex and inside this i will be creating a pattern what is this pattern and uh, to make you clear about this concept uh, currently i'm using uh, one of the website, which is W3 school. I think you already are familiar with that. So from here, I'm using this blog in there. It is very clearly written everything, right? You can see over here that it's uh, over here and you can see like how you can create or let's how you can generate your pattern for your regular expression. So this is how I have uh, used that. And currently what I'm doing is I'm simply using this slash D and I'm applying like uh, what will be the length of my account number. So based on that, I'm doing it. And from here, you can see slash D, which I'm using right now is slash D means returns a match where the string contains digits, numbers from zero to nine. In short, a string which is containing a complete message inside that message, you will be having a digit. And what is that digit? Digit will be between zero to nine. So this is the way how I'm introducing this slash D over here. And based on that, I'm telling like what will be the length of my account number which i'm going to extract from here right similarly i have introduced one more uh, example for this in which i'm simply saying like uh, this this simply means it will start with start with seven so this is what i'm going to do like it will start with this and accordingly i'm going to generate a pattern so this is the way how i am just creating this part and i have introduced some examples for your regular expression right so based on that uh, you can create any other patterns as well maybe in the case of mobile number it's quite easy but uh, in the case of email id or any other data which you want to extract in that case it's a bit difficult part so you have to generate the pattern very precisely so that's the reason i am showing you this link and don't worry about the link i will leave a link in the description so that you can directly go to this link and accordingly you can understand how you can generate a 
pattern for your regular expression so this is what we can do over here and now let's do one thing let's uh, add all the data in the domain file as well to register it now go to the domain and let's register my intent first of all now press enter and i have registered credit account uh, what's that okay credit account is this one i have to register this one right uh, register this my account number similarly do it for entity as well so I will be introducing entity over here right so I have introduced entity as well I have introduced intent as well so in this way I have done it and the regular expression you don't have to register in the domain because it will be in the NLU only and it is directly linked to the entity which you have registered so that's the reason it is not required to register it in the domain file so this is what i have done and uh, in this way i have added the regular expression right so now we can uh, train the model and we can test that how we will be doing it but first of all one more thing is left that i forgot to add the stories so let me go to the stories and over here uh, just for the uh, like understanding purpose i have already added this part and this is the path which were following the last session like over here i will say hi it will say hey how may i assist you and i will provide that i want to know about my current credit card account balance so based on that this credit is the entity which i'm extracting now based on that now i have applied a new question over here and that question is utter account number so utter account number is this one which is what's your account number so the bot will ask me for that and accordingly i will be providing my account number is this whatever it is so in this way i will be providing it and after that the final is your account balance is one lakh rupees so which i have already specified over here right so in this way i have also created the story as well so i am done now now the last thing is that i have to train the model and i have to test that how it is working right so let me just uh, do it for you so let me do this so let's do one thing this time let's try it on rasa x I already have Rasa X installed on my system. So let's say Rasa train and Rasa X. So after training, it will automatically switch you to the Rasa X. So wait for it to finish and let's see whether it's working or no. All right, so now you can see my model is trained and now my Rasa X is up and running, right? So you can see over here, my Rasa X is up and running and over here you can see my models are there. So whichever is the latest model, it will be active. So wait for it. I think it's taking a bit time. So that's the reason I'm not able to see it right now. Uh, just wait for a while. Sometime it takes time, right? All right, so you can see the model is trained and now it is using the latest model so latest model is for today uh, 16 may you can see right so now the model is active now we can go and talk to the bot let's say hello all right hey how may i assist you let's say i want to know about my credit credit card account balance press enter now you can see here we have the intent here we have the entity right so account is the entity and this is the value for that right so this is the way how we have it and i think this time it uh, didn't uh, collected that just because the problem is i uh, wrote it incorrectly right it's card and i write cared so that's the reason it is not uh, collecting it properly but it's okay it still picked up the value and that's the reason we are getting this value extracted right so it was not included in the synonyms part so that's the reason it is directly collecting this value right so this is about that now what's your account number let's say my account number is let's say right so this is my account number let's say now press enter so you can see my account number is the intent this is the entity and this is the value for that so based on that you can see like whatever value i'm going to specify it is going to collect that value or let's say it is going to extract that value and it is going to 
give you that value so that you can further use it and accordingly uh, respond back with respect to that value so this is the way how we can do it if you want to test it again that's do one thing let me try it again and let's say hello and let's say i want to know credit account balance right now this time you can see it was credit account right and i wrote it correctly and that was added to the synonym so that's the reason it is giving you credit now you can say my account number is press enter now can you see this is the value which i have specified and uh, it is able to extract it and based on that you're getting the information uh, extracted right and this based on that you're getting the values for it currently the value is like quite uh, like static one so that's the reason every time i'm getting the same value but if in case you're going to perform some custom actions in that case you will be getting this value uh, given to you based on the information that you're providing so this is how we can make it completely dynamic so this is all about the regex function and in the same way you can apply the same regex function for multiple other data that you want to collect maybe the email id maybe the phone number maybe the amount of money or anything so whatever you want to include you can include that part and based on that you can generate the pattern so that is all about the regular expression in rasa chatbot and i hope everything is clear to you but still if you are facing any difficulties in understanding this topic feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have any feedback for us feel free to leave a comment below as well so that is all about it and i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel and also you can press the bell icon if you want to get a notification whenever we will upload a new video. So that is all about it. Till then, stay home, stay safe and happy learning.